Hey everyone, good evening. Welcome to our free 101 coaching here in our Facebook page. I am nervous. <laughs> Mostly, I am nervous a little about um, what's going to happen today because I haven't done this in forever. <laughs> I haven't done one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching live, so this is new. And as you can see, I wore a Santa hat, tried to be um, try to be Christmassy. <laughs> this is one of the things that I um, thought about um, when it comes to giving you because I just feel like, you know, like monetary or giveaways or financial stuff, giving it away would not help you like move forward in your life. Like it might help you become happy at some point. Like, hey, I received, you know, couple of hundred pesos from Demi but then it's not going to help you move forward in your dreams which is something that I feel very strongly about so we're not going to do that <laughs> and in in that sense we're going to instead have a one-on-one -on -one coaching where you'll tell me about your business or whatever you have in there whatever question you have and I'm going to answer it for you. So that's what going to ha that's what's going to happen tonight. And also, by the way, it's highways, a little bit of ground rules before we start. One of the things that I want to um, say here is that how this entire process is going to work. So in a couple minutes from now, I will be posting the chat link or the chat, not the chat link, but the invitation link, interview link in the comment section. And then you can click on it. Make sure it will allow your microphone and camera so that I can hear you. Enter your name and then click the join button. Again, let me repeat that. If you're going to click the link that I'm going to give here in the comment section, click on that. Make sure that you are allowing your microphone and your camera, right? And then put your name on it and then click join now, right? So also, apart from that, you can also tell me like who you are, what do you do, where do you live? And then you can start asking your questions. So that will do like a little bit of um, introduction, right? So I'm not sure how many people I'm going to be able to accommodate today, but I'll do as many as I can. So without further ado, Let's see the link in the chat. <laughs> Ayan, I think I already entered. Ay, shoot, nakalimutan ko yung aking AirPods, mga friends. <laughs> Kasi if I'm not going to use this, then it's gonna start echoing with the mic. So, I'll make sure I have this on. And yeah, so you can start calling now through the link. Okay. So start calling with the link that I put in the comment section and then we'll start with answering your questions. Okay, we have one caller already. Let me see this one. Hi, Wayne in OBS. <laughs> I can't see you. All right, sige, Wayne, balikan kita mamaya. Chill ka muna dyan. <laughs> Sandale. How do I? Okay, I think. Right. So I'll come back to you later, Wayne. Wait, muna. Balikan na lang tawa kada lang ulit, Wayne. <laughs> Para hindi kita reach. Okay, we have one. Another one here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Kisha. How are you? Wait, Wait, Wayne. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we have one. Hello. Another one. Parang may feedback from your, your phone. How about this one? Yeah, okay, that's better. Hi, okay. how are you? Hi. Oh my god. I feel so honored <laughs> to be interviewed. I'm so sorry, I don't have any light on. It's okay. Okay. How can I help? Okay, I am Kisha. And I used to be a seafarer. Oh, I nice. Home. I was sent home last June due to the suspension of sailings. So I mm. really love to write. I was re I'm really a passionate writer. I do personal blogs. 
And then a friend of mine introduced freelancing to me. When I went home, I wanted to have an income because I support my family. Mm-hmm. So I have, I just want to be clear. I am doing freelance content writing now. I do have okay. um, a few clients, although I am still trying to figure out everything the way. Mm-hmm. Um, I have been writing already a lot of topics like... I started uh, uh, I started writing uh, $6 for 800 words. I accepted okay. that because I don't have any any sample article to prove. Although, I used to write self-help articles in Thought Catalog. Now, I really want to grow more in this career. But I am actually having a hard time in terms of rating myself. I feel like I do not deserve, I don't deserve a high rating. Although, although some clients whom I already talked to told me that your rate is too low, too low already. Aside from that, I don't know if I should rate myself per article, per word, per month, per project. So I hope you could help me, like have an idea on how to to um, go through it kasi libo kayo I know bisaya ka <laughs> I'm still confused mm-hmm. although I try my best to to grow in my own way self-paced uh, learning I watch your videos but still it's a big question mark I want to mm-hmm. grow in this business although the question is how okay like what can you do what can you do like the easy steps that i can do to reach that goal Am I, okay was it clear yes very clear thank you so much so firstly thank you for joining us here no in this session i'm very happy that you're here with me especially bisaya <laughs> but we can't ano, we can't speak bisaya because we have also a uh, majority of the audience is tagalog so uh, I'll, I'll speak to you directly in english na lang. so uh firstly one of your problems is pricing right yes. and then right off the bat i can say that you're already a good writer because of your communication skills your speaking skills is already really good so i can only imagine when you sit down and get your thoughts gathered together i know you're good already like right off the bat let me say that that (laughs) i know there's something in you and then secondly um with in terms of pricing because what's what's happening there is that a lot of times we don't deserve that high price is because we don't number one we don't pay that much in terms of other people's services so you might have an experience before that you bought or purchased something and you might have told yourself now i it's already expensive at that specific level or at that specific price and so you're also applying that to yourself where in this case you're not a product you're a service and there's much more value in the thing that you are offering to your clients so you can see the difference diba so you're kind of like the way we price ourselves is usually how we purchase items so that's what we're saying um i only also realized the right pricing rate of myself when i already started purchasing a little bit more expensive items so that's when i said oh okay that's super cheap right so your your idea or your perspective about money changes the way you purchase right or the way you purchase a product or a service whatever that may be that's one thing that's how you can go through it in a logical manner second one there might be a couple of of course i don't know you no man in person no, but there might be experiences of you in the past that allowed you to judge yourself as someone that is not worthy Okay, so actually, I am a teacher like you. If that helps, I used to be a teacher. Yes. Okay. And then, did you have like experiences during your teaching, or even not in that area, or somewhere in you know, like in the past, where someone told you that you're not worth it, or you're not good enough, you know, and that might have 
um, you know, planted a seed in your head, which is also the reason why you feel like you don't deserve the rate that you are supposed to be getting. So uh, you might also want to check on that. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay, so um, do you want to share it or you want to think oh, more? Now? <laughs> it's okay. I just think I am the type of person who thinks both ways. I'm not too much of a positive thinker and not really too much of a negative. I am in the middle. I think of what are the things that I can get from this and what could possibly happen or the, the failures that I could possibly think. So I am in between. I think that I can excel. And at the same time, I am thinking that maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I see. So it is difficult. However, I, I try to think more on the positive side. I didn't mm-hmm. have any quite experiences, any experiences about that because I grew up being confident. I really have a built confidence since I was young. So failures do not really, um, although it, parang one day it medio emotional, but after that I can bounce back and then move forward. I'm something mm-hmm. like that. So. So I think what you're dealing with is not uh, fear or in terms of confidence it's more of like imposter syndrome (laughs) so i think it's imposter syndrome because you said that you're not a negative thinker because if you're a negative thinker then all the time you're going to tell yourself that i'm fearful i can't do this i'm not good enough but the fact that you said that you're you're somewhere in between and you're getting clients and you want to move forward then what you're dealing is imposter syndrome so if i may to suggest also a couple of points that might help you in terms of imposter syndrome I remember I completely forgotten where did I get that quote but someone told me or at least I heard from one of the videos that I watched that when you are experiencing imposter syndrome that is a definite manifestation that you are actually good okay you are great at something because why would you experience imposter syndrome if you're not good at anything right? if people are just mediocre or you're not they're not doing anything with their lives do you think they would experience imposter syndrome you're only going to doubt yourself if you're good enough because you're seeing the great ones out there and you're comparing yourself to them but you are actually good you know you're good you can definitely become greater and better if you want if you're going to push yourself harder but as of this moment while you're experiencing your imposter syndrome you're already good and like what i said in the beginning of the video i can already tell that you're good at writing because as of this moment while we're talking your english is good i can already tell (laughs) so there um did i answer your question and do you have more follow-up questions um, do you think it is best if I, um, in terms of rating, sorry for that, is okay. it best for, for, for writers per article to rate per article, I mean per word, or per project? Okay, so it's best, in terms of writing, it's always best to charge yourself per word because okay. that's the worth of it. it there are per okay. project rates that are so, like, they're going to ask you that it's going to be a per project rate, like a flat rate for this specific project, and there's just too many words. So that wouldn't be able to justify the time that you have spent writing that very article, right? So it's only right for you to charge per word. And as for how much, I can't really say for sure. We do have a, um, what do you call this? A price list inside CRA, and I'm not the one who did it. I passed it on to someone who's good at writing. <laughs> so okay. she's the one who made the, I know, I said, with me, I might have experience in writing essays for a bit, but that was only one time in my life. I did not also know what I was doing back in the day. So at that very end, I wouldn't be able to help you as to like at least give you a range as to how much. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, you might want to just research industry rates, right? Okay. So it's best to start with industry li- rates na lang para at least you can see uh, what are the common prices, what are the average, diba? So that that's where you can start. And then if you feel like you're more confident to upscale and then you have better quality articles, then you can start raising it per cent or something, right? Okay. So there. That would be great. Thank you so much, Tami. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Kisha. Merry Christmas. 
Okay, that was nice. That was very nice. That was the first one. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. You have no idea. I'm like the one who is very nervous here. I'm like adjusting my Santa hat right now. <laughs> so, you know, guys, um, we have, I'm going to copy the link again and paste it in the comment section so that other people can call. We have one earlier, um, Abigail, I think. So Wayne also was one of the people who called. So you might want to double check that again. Call again. Okay, we have one here. Hi. Hi. Hello, folks. <laughs> Hi, Alisa Faye. Alisa or Alisa Faye? <laughs> How do you pronounce your name? Alisa Po. Hi. Hi, Alisa. How can I help you? Oops. Hello? Uh, hello, po. Ayan, can you hear um, me? I'm hang po ata. Nagahang siya? Yes. yes, she is frozen. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, so Alisa, if you are listening to the live video, I, I'm afraid I have to cancel your call for now so that we don't um, have people waiting. So you can call again if you want. And then... Okay, she's calling again. Hello? Ayan. Can you hear me? Hello, po. Yes, po. Ah, okay. Sorry po, medyo shaky po yung internet namin <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> Sige. Um, how can I help, Alisa? Um, so, currently po, I am a Bachelor of Arts in English student. First okay. year pa lang po. And I was hoping to start a career in freelancing because just like you po, um, I like to travel and I don't want to be tied down to any any job. So um, my problem po is that I don't really have any experience and um, I do have a background in journalism, but I don't really know how to apply it and how to even find just one client or something like that. But I, I have done my research and I've found out that um, I can maybe, you know, there are freelancing sites po just like Fiverr. And, but um, yun po kasi is parang fixed rate po siya. So you can't really advance your own brand po kumbaga. So I was going to ask po sana some advice on how I can find my first client or how I can even start to approach people. So, okay. Know. Okay. So it's first year college. How old are you na? 18 po. 18 so you're already at the right age uh can you already like start getting a bank account or i think the right age on paypal naman is 18 but the question is can you already um get a bank account meron ba i think um, meron naman um i've done my research po and i've actually already opened up a paypal account and um after I get my student ID, po, I'm going to open up a savings account, which I researched can be connected to my PayPal account. Okay, that's really good because that's my main concern if you're still a student is that you have to have PayPal account and a bank account at least so that when you're already ready to get clients, you can get your payment right away, right? Parang hindi siya mas stuck dun sa PayPal. So that's good that you have done your research on uh, in terms of the payment method. As for the niche that you wish to pursue in freelancing, since you already said that you have background in journalism, let me ask you first, is journalism or writing something that you really enjoy doing or that's something that you just do out of compliance or kasi requirements at school or ano? Um, I actually really enjoy it po. I've been a student journalist ever since the third grade and um, I haven't really stopped po ever since. Okay, that's good. Feature so writing. Okay, feature writing. So with that idea in mind or with that skill in mind, you can go into so many niches in writing so niche um when i say niche you can still get very specific so one of our guests kanina um she was also a writer 
and she's doing articles, right? You can do articles, you can do blog articles, and there are also other different types of writing pa. Like, for example, you can do product description on e-com sites or e-com shops. So if you're going to uh, look at parang Lazada or Shopee, each product has a product description, right? And so many people are looking for writers who can sell their product through writing a really good product description. That's one thing. Uh, another thing is copywriting, which is a little bit more difficult. And I would say the highest paying niche in terms of writing, but also is one of the most difficult, especially if you're a Filipino. Because copywriting is writing words that sell. Meaning you might not see on website like what's what should be in the button to make other people click that button. That's part of copywriting. Um, the one that I have in my live videos, for example, like or the one that I have in my page if I'm promoting my academy. So all those things that I'm writing to sell something is called copywriting. So that one is also really good. So I would suggest first thing, since you have a background in writing, try researching first what are the possible freelancing niches in writing because there are so many. And then try to identify at least your top three best ones, your best bets. Because I told, uh, I mentioned earlier how copywriting can be this huge paying freelance business, but also in any niche, wherever you are, as long as you just understand how to market yourself and get clients, there isn't any problem. Right. So regardless if you're in blog writing, product description writing, or you know other types of writing, regardless what that is, as long as you love what you're doing, so in the middle of it you don't get frustrated, that's the most important part, right? So research Kamuna on that one, and then next is you have to start, once you have already identified what your niche is or what type of writing are you supposed to do for your clients, you find or you start researching also on the clients that would be highly interested in that. So it would make sense, for example, if you're a video editor and you you wish to have more consistent income, you probably would want to target YouTubers or you mga people that have uh, videos all the time, right? If you want to become a blog writer, then naturally you would want someone who already has their own blog. Right, so bloggers basically, and then if you want to also become a copywriter, the people who are usually using copywriting are entrepreneurs. So you might want to find uh, these entrepreneurs, and then product description writers. You would want to find people who has online stores. Right, so that comes naturally when you already have decided what niche in writing you're going to pursue. Now, where to find them? Very easy. Google them. Okay. So you can, you will be able to check into or find communities where your ideal client avatar, that's what we call them, are hanging out. So whatever your writing niche is, identify who's that person who needs that very niche the most. Google them. Communities of blank. Facebook groups of blank, right? Facebook groups of authors, Facebook groups of entrepreneurs, and then the search result is going to come to you, easy and simple. Go in those Facebook groups, try putting or adding value to other people's lives by helping them. Become very proactive in those Facebook groups and then naturally those people are going to notice you and then they would start adding you, they would start um, chatting you like, hey, uh, Alyssa, what do you do? I've been seeing you for a bit now on Facebook groups, so on and so forth. You've been helping other people. I'm just very curious what you're doing, you know. And then there's there's this collaborations and relationships and networks that are going to form naturally because you know you've been in that Facebook group for a while now, and then they have noticed what you're doing, that kind of stuff, and everything else will start to flow. So once you already got your first client, everything else is gonna be just momentum, diba? So it's gonna go on and on and on. And I might say before I uh, before you might have if you have follow up questions, no, before you start doing this, please ensure no that be very reasonable with yourself. For example, other people are going to say now, Miss Demi, I have just marketed myself for five days. I haven't found a client yet. So 
I advise to not be like that, be reasonable and say nah, you might have marketed yourself for the past five months and you still haven't found a client. So, you know, be reasonable with your expectations that nah, everything's not going to be easy, especially when you're starting out, but it's all going to be worth it and you're currently on the right track. 18 is very young to start in freelancing and that is good that you know very well what you want already. You're not even finished college yet. That's very cool and I salute you for that because you know you already identified your goals as early as this time so that's awesome and keep doing what you're doing and I guess just follow the the techniques that I mentioned and I hope to hear more from you <laughs> next time <laughs> do you have follow-up questions um I, well, I know, but thank you po so much. Okay. <laughs> Hindi ko po akala na mag mag go go through po yung video ko. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Thank you so much, Alyssa, for joining us, and thank have a po. wonderful holiday season. Bye bye. Kairin po. Thank you po. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Next one we have. Hang on a second. While we are, <laughs> while we are um. Before rather, before I, before I, hang on a second, huh? Before I answer this next caller or next guest, I'm going to comment again the link to where you can join, right, as a guest. Okay, so just comment in the comment, or comment, in, comment in the comment section if you have questions. I might be dropping by a couple of questions here and there later. If you're too shy to be on video, why not, coconut? But um, the link to where you can be a guest in this one-on-one -on -one coaching is in the comment section. Okay, and then also um, our first to our writers. So I hope we can come across other people later and other niches. Because I know that <laughs> I know that a lot of the people that are following me are usually designers, so I hope we can stumble upon a designer sometime. Let's see, Jean. Hello, Jean. Hi, Jean. <laughs> Jean. Okay, sige. Jean, balikan kita mamaya, Jean. <laughs> Medyo nag-freeze kasi yung kanyang, ano, um, kanyang computer or phone, I think. So, I'm going to paste the, the link in the comment section again. Alrighty. So, if you have questions and clarifications, also drop them in the comment section because I might be able to answer them if we still have time. We're, o we're only 30 minutes in. Two people already. So, I'm excited to get to see some of you guys we have like 400 people here come on come on come on i don't go even lang eh go na go na guys ready jean hello hi <laughs> can you hear me yeah um good evening oh my god i'm so happy to see you wait jean are you a menti <laughs> ah, not yet. Meron kasi akong jean na menti na kamukha mo. Sige lang, go. <laughs> well, no problem. Don't be pressured. I just, I thought that you were a menti kasi kung magkamukha kayo. Anyway, sige. Go. By the way, it's highways. How can I help, Jean? Uh, hi, Ms. Dami. Hi again. So, um, it's really, um, you guys are a virtual assistant slash um, social media now for two clients. So, my second client referral to my first client. So my problem today is how, how to get how to get clients except for referrals. Because you know I'm running out of content. Um basically um basically I got my first client to you messenger only like to ask where are you being in so it's kinda of part of I will depend on that on that scenario uh, on that scenario every time um every time uh, I want to get a client. So um, I'm thinking that if I if I what do you call it if I market myself to Instagram LinkedIn or Facebook, um that's the uh, one of the best ideas to get clients paid. So my main problem is that I'm running out of content. So what can you suggest um any suggest any groups or podcasts and I'm gonna get 
So sorry, uh, medyo, medyo choppy kasi yung, ilong, yung light or I think it's the microphone mostly. So you were saying you are a virtual assistant and social media manager and a lot of your clients are from referrals. Is that correct? Um, the second one is from client referral from first client. Basically, okay. uh, I got my first client to Messenger. Like she just chatted me on on Facebook. Just, oh, hi, are you a VA? Just like that, and we negotiate, and then boom, close deal. So I'm just, um, you know, I just want more clients, and I, and my problem is that how can I get more? Mm, I see. Okay, so how can you get more clients? So Jean, with VA and social media manager, those are very, um, kung tawag natin para siyang napalaki niyang scope. So the the way you can better stand out in the crowd without actually signing up to freelancing sites is when you niche down and you become an authority or at least you get known for something very specific. So VA and SMM, that's really awesome. And I, I would always suggest those two niches when you are starting out, even if it's very general still. Because that's when you can, you know, it's it's a low barrier of entry, meaning it's easy to get into it. It's easy to get clients on that very manner, right? Especially if you're still a newbie. But since you already have experience, I suggest that whatever skills you are doing right now for your client, de ba? Sure, pag VA, marami masarong skills. Meron pa mga video editing, mga graphic design, ganon ganon, de ba? So there's so many things that you are doing. There's so many things in your plate. Pick one or two. Right, pick one of two, one or two of those things that you are currently doing for your client that you absolutely love, and you can definitely say that this is a skill that I will be doing for the next five years. Okay, so what's what are those one to two skills? And hopefully, those two skills are very much related to each other. Like to give you an example, graphic design and video editing completely related. Uh, websites and graphic design completely related. Graphic design and SMM also very related to each other. So you might want to pick one to two of those skills, merge them together, and become very specific with your ideal client avatar. So your client right now, I'm pretty sure he or she has a business. And can you share a little bit about what the industry of that business is? Is it is it in health, relationship? Ano yung kanyang product or ano yung kanyang ginagawa ng client mo at this time? Actually, um, she's an executive sales vice president of Norwex in Canada. So basically, I'm um, handling her business pages. So I'm interacting with their with the her customers, like for example, orders, like that. Mm, I see. So in that sense, you might want, since you already have experience in that area, you might want to find other clients that has the same or in the same industry, right? So, siempre from your client, you got another referral from the same client. I would assume that they're both in the same industry then. So that's a really good start. Yes. Okay. So that's a really good start. Meaning you can start building your client base what we call your client base from that very industry. Because apart from the fact that you already have experience, alam mo na ginagawa mo eh. You have a knowledge in that very industry already, so there's no point of you, you know, finding other ideal client avatars. Yung gagawin mo na lang is to narrow down further on what niche you're going to get or what niche you're going to focus on. So with that also said, I'm going to think a little bit further ahead of you. Kasi mamaya, when you already have followed my advice, for example, you started niching down already. Um, you might come across a time wherein your current clients now, you have to somehow fire them or terminate them. Kasi kung ano yung, mga, kung ano yung binabayad nila ngayon sa'yo, that's very small compared to the clients that you're going to get in a very specific niche, right? So once nakapag-narrow down ka na, the, the most probable thing that's going to happen is you're going to find clients that's very much willing to pay you more for a very specified skill. And when that happens, medyo matotorn ka. Sasabihin mo, uy, these are like my first clients. I don't want to let them go. <laughs> so, ganun na mangyayari. <laughs> you have two options in that very manner. 
um, this is like way far ahead, no? Since hindi ka pa nakapag-narrow down, but I'm just going to tell you in advance, this is a very common problem that we come across in CRA. Um, when you come across that one, what you can do, you have two options. Number one, you can keep those clients still if you want, right? And in the same price, Second option is you can ask them for a raise and tell them exactly why, okay? So there's no, um, there, there, I know that there's a pressure in communicating that I want a raise client, you know, di ba? <laughs> parang feeling, wow, <laughs> parang ang feeler ko naman kung hihingi ako ng raise and that kind of stuff. So it's okay to feel that way, but it's also not bad to communicate what you are worth. Okay? So since, you know, client nakapag-upskill na ako, medyo magaling na ako dito na part, right? So I might ask you for a better rate, ganito, ganyan. So that's your second option. Third option is, if hirap na hirap ka talagang makipag-communicate kay client mo, or hindi mo siya ma-raise. Like for example, you already communicated and your client said, no, we can't pay you that much yet or ganang ganon. So what you can do is really just let go of them and start focusing on the clients that are paying you higher. Because what's what matters most if you already have narrowed down, niche down and other people are paying you higher than the usual already. What matters most this time, especially if our lika, your time. Okay? Time yeah. is money and you can't let other people to dictate you na parang you stay with us because I'm paying you this much while there are other pli- clients that are very much willing to pay you more. So, did I answer your question, Jean? <laughs> Book recommendations when it comes to marketing. Okay, yeah. so number one is This is Marketing by Seth Godin. So, there is... Yeah. There are so many marketing books from Seth as, yeah, this is Marketing by Seth Godin. Second one is 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. Okay, so I forgot the author of that one. <laughs> I haven't read that yet, by the way. Yung second, uh, 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. I haven't read that, but since... Tim Ferriss recommended that one. I highly recommend it as well. Siyempre, kapag idol mo, I recommend a book. Okay, Gora, I recommend it sa iba. So that oh one. Um, last one, the one book that really changed my life is Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. Okay. So yes. that um, Expert Secrets ha- is a trilogy. So there's dot com secrets, expert secrets, and then the last one is traffic secrets. You can try to get all the books or at least expert secrets is like the foundational. So you can get that as well. Ayan. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No worries. Ayan. Thank you so much, Jean. Bye bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, there you are, guys. Alrighty, so I hope that you would you could uh, relate to those people, not our first three people, and they might have the similar struggles as you do, and you might also be getting the same advice, right? So you might also be in the same niche as them, right? Also, by the way, speaking of the same niche, do not be worried about competition and freelancing. Gosh, there's so many people in the world that you can serve. Doesn't mean that there's so many freelancers already. You have to be worried because of competition. No, <laughs> you don't really need to be worried because imagine seven billion people in the world, even if let's say 100,000 of those are freelancers, we still have like, what? Six billion people to serve or even more, 6.9 billion people to serve. So don't even worry about it, right? So it's like very irrelevant. There's there's, there's so much space for everyone. Okay, next caller, Levine. Let's see. Hello. Hello, Levine. Nag- parang naka off yata yung ano. Okay. <laughs> next caller, Max. Hi, Max. Hi. Hindi kita marinig. Sorry. Hello? I can't hear you. Ay. Wow, my dog sa ano? Sa. <laughs> ah, there. 
there. Now I can hear you. Hello, Max. How are you? How can I help? Uh, I'm a menti po talaga. And, Ay! Uh, ano ba yan? <laughs> um, Hello! Nako, sa dami nyo, hindi ko na alam kung sinong menti, sinong hindi. Ayan. Hi, Max. Hi po. And nahihirapan po sa IC, sa pagkuha ng IC. <laughs> As okay. ako nasa module 3 na po ako and nahinabang pa rin po sa ICA kasi I'm stuck kasi may gusto po ako gawin sa sa design I'm in graphic design by image ko and parang may gusto ko gawin sa design pero hindi po siya nagbamatch so gusto kong ICA like um, gusto ko po is packaging design and okay. um, logo and gusto ko po yung blogger na ICA kasi feel ko hindi siya nagbamatch so hindi ko makuha yung tawang ICA kapag gagawa. Mm, pag, I see. So, nasa, nakastock pa rin po ako sa um, entrepreneur coaches. Since gusto ko rin po talaga yung mga coaches. And yung, ano nga po, yung food entrepreneurs. Okay. So, that's your question, no? So, you want, uh, you're currently stuck in ideal client avatar. You don't know uh who to serve kasi you wish to pursue packaging design and then um, logo design pero yung mga gusto mong ICA is blogger so with this one Max ganito kasi yan when we are identifying what we really want to do diba importante naman din kasi na we, are, we enjoy what we are doing so I would suggest that you stay within packaging design because you naman talaga yung pinaka importante is that when you are pursuing a freelancing skill, whatever niche that is, what's important is that you enjoy doing it. So, and it seems to me, I'm assuming you very much enjoy packaging design. So, ganito siya. Even if you like bloggers, you might want to sacrifice that. Okay, so you can crash that out. And then start researching as to who are these people that needs packaging design the most. Because when we are a freelancer, when you're an entrepreneur, your main goal is to really solve other people's problems. And a lot of times when we are in that journey, there are certain things that we might have to let go here and there. So we don't need to be attached into just a very specific ICA or that kind of stuff, right? So. I suggest when it comes to packaging design, you can do e-com sellers, right? You can do e-com sellers, entrepreneur coaches, right? And if you want to be like super, super specific, you can also get into food entrepreneurs, right? That you mentioned earlier. So there are food entrepreneurs, like you mga coffee shop owners, usually they're making their own coffee and they need packaging. Tapos binibenta nila sa Lazada or sa Shopee. Yun yung parang trend ngayon eh. <laughs> so you can create like a packaging design for their coffee, right? And mostly, if they are a food entrepreneur, usually they're also under the e-com seller banners, right? So that means um, coffee shop owner nga sila, food entrepreneur sila, pero binibenta nila yung kanilang coffee, then that would also include them in e-com sellers na ICA. So medyo confused ka na ulit, parang, uy, dalawa, <laughs> dalawang ano to ah, dalawang level to, saan ba dito yung ipupursu ko? So, what you can do, since, um, what do you call this? Since food entrepreneurs right now is very much affected by the pandemic, and we're not really sure how long this is going to end, right? Um, I suggest that you pursue e-com sellers, right? There are so many of them. Uh, if not naman, yun lang naman yung suggestion ko, no? But there are also other people that are uh, doing packaging design for other things, right? So you can also do clothing, mga ganun. So there are so many um, niches then or like sub-niches in packaging design. You just have to really pick which one would you like, right? So, to me naman, personally speaking, I feel like if you're going to pursue packaging design with e-commerce sellers, it's much, much more stable. Kasi, stable in a sense that an e-commerce seller would want innovation or product innovations every like quarter, three months from now, two months from now, right? So, ka kapag ang isang client pumunta sa'yo as an e-commerce seller, papagawa ng packaging design, babalik yan in two months from now, right? So, it's more stable. In, compared to other people who might be needing packaging design where it's one-off thing, right? So, for example, ano yung mga packaging design na parang one-off? Yung mga lotion, yung mga skincare products, 
they they wouldn't be innovating until like two years from now, one year from now. So medyo hindi siya stable na work for you. So you might want to find um people who will be needing product design or packaging design na mas consistent yung kita, right? Like e-com sellers, for example. Uh, another one is white labelers, which is also under the e-com sellers niche. So white labelers meaning yung mga meron ako kilala, taga US siya, and then he goes to China or Japan to buy pillows. Tapos yung pillows, ini, ini uh, ano ba tawag yan? Import pa? Import ba? Export. <laughs> Para pinapadala niya doon sa US, and then nililabel niya as his. Right? So he will make his own tag, own packaging, ganun ganon. Tapos yun na yung uh, sinesell niya sa Amazon, and then to other, to other sellers or to his very own Shopify store. So that one is also very, those people, those white labelers are hungry for product innovations. So meaning, mas maraming packaging design shop for you. Ayan. So Max, <laughs> did I answer your question? And do you have a follow-up question? If I press the e-com seller, I can narrow it lang ka po po ba siya? Kung anong klaseng seller? Uh, it's okay if you don't narrow it already. Kasi packaging and design in itself is very specific already. Like, yun na yun. <laughs> so, wala ka na mas mananarrow down pa. So, uh, the rule, remember the rule in module 1, right? So, it's either broad ICA and very specific skill, which is what you have. You already have that perfect match. So, okay lang kahit broad ka na sa e-com sellers kasi sa, sa packaging, very specific ka na. So, we have... Uh, we have that rule in module one, so you can go back to that also if you want to refresh. Pero yun nga, uh, that's what I suggest. You already have a very specific SOF, and then the ICA being ano or the sorry guys, mga nanonood, eh, parang very specific siya for the menti. <laughs> Uh, packaging design as your skill of focus and then uh, e-commerce seller as your ideal client avatar or your dream clients rather. So, there. Yan. Did it. Thank you, Paul. Okay. Ayan. Yes, thank, you. thank you, Max. Okay. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Okay. We have next one. Okay. What kind, what brand or model of camera are you using? <laughs> I'm using a Sony A7S III po. Sony A7S III. Let's see. Wayne, are you here? Yes, Wayne, what's up? <laughs> Hindi kita marinig. Wala. Walang audio. Anong nangyari? Wala pa rin. <laughs> Sige. Sige. Wala pa rin, Wayne. Sige. Try mo muna. Eh. Troubleshoot ka muna, Wayne. Ayun. Meron na. Tapos na wala ulit. Parang meron lang siyang ano. Um, ano tawag nito? Parang smoke effect. <laughs> Parang sandali lang merong static. Ayun. Meron na. Okay. Narinig kita. Fear ba? Fear? Yes. Medyo ano lang. Medyo uh, tawag nito. Medyo puffy or... Yeah, uh, medyo puffy yung iyong mic. Pero, Kerry Bells, go! How can I help, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> Sige, um, so, I'm Wayne, and ang niche ko is motion. I'm a motion graphic artist for online Motion business. graphics. Okay. Medyo, medyo stuck lang ako kasi I already, um, I already identified my ICA. I created my CCF, and I've already created my website. <laughs> Melty din pala to <laughs> oh, Sige, sige, sige uh, Ano yun, you already did your CCF And then your website Tapos So, I na-identify ka na yung niche ko Yung ICA ko Yung I created my CCF And my website I've joined Facebook groups And medyo Na-stop lang ako na ano Wala akong nakukuha ang clients Although Ano, um, I've been observing sa Facebook groups and then uh, may mga na-message na rin ako and then I have I have seen yung watch the video about uh, authority content, um, sharing value posts pero <laughs> wala pa rin wala pa rin, may, nasta ko na wala pa rin na ako ang clients and ano, um, na 
<laughs> Diba ako frustrate na nga I can see na medyo nasa Intermediate to advanced level na ako Tapos merong mga mentis Na ano na Nakakakuha sila ng mga beginner pa lang sila <laughs> <laughs> Ayun, sige, tapos <laughs> So, parang ayun po um, What would be your encouragement na pa- Paano ba? Actually, nag-post na ako um, may, meron, lang, meron na rin naman akong ano, um, Na-apply, kumbaga uh, Yung kasi ano eh home, um, Matagal na akong home base And yung Sa module 3 about pricing na Apply ko na siya dun sa mga current uh, Jobs uh, work ko sa upward kasi yun nga gusto ko na mag-transition sana na umalis na from upward to actual freelancing and ano um ayun ah uh, so hindi naman totally zero pero and still ano um paano ba na hoping na to really get a client na sa to get direct clients to Facebook groups mm, okay sige so isa-isahin natin marami tayong i-unpack <laughs> so firstly <Sorry>. muna <laughs> Um, can I, do you mind telling the audience, no, telling the audience na lang ito kasi live to eh. Uh, can, can I see hmm. your website? Sige po. Um, paste ko sa comments. Sige, sige. Yeah. Para I can also see or I can also give you sige like po. an insight. Kasi, mas medyo mahirap kasi sa akin kapag hindi ko ano, like, kanina <laughs> writers at tapos na naririnig ko kung gaano siya magsalita so i know exactly where she is coming from no so pag motion graphics medyo kailangan ko ng aking ano <laughs> kailangan ko siyang makita okay, to also okay. see okay so in terms while i'm ano while i'm researching or while i'm um, entering your website first muna is um, how long have you been marketing yourself Um, sa isang oras or sa isang araw, gaano katagal ka nagma-market? Or ilang uh, ilang oras yung sp- sinespend mo just to market yourself in the Facebook groups? Usually, ano, um, <coughs> ma- um, ma- hindi rin naman gano'n ka, ano, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty na hindi rin siya. Hindi pa consistent. There are times na, 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 na ano, ko. Pero, madalas kasi, ano, eh, ang gabi rin yung, ano, yung, mga ICA to. So, usually, after work na rin na ano, mga, I can say, mga one hour a day. Mga one hour, one hour a day. Okay. So, yes, mm-hmm. sa, sa one hour a day na yan, how consistent are you of doing it every day? So, do you do one hour a day every day or pa on and off ka? Anong, ano, anong style on, mo when marketing? Medyo, medyo, medyo an on and off din. And, um, tama ba yung ginagawa ko? May, there are times na, nag-review ako and then minsan sinetry ko i-filter din siya na na ipatay ko na ng animation or anything related about para mag-filter yung comments, comments about it. Pwede naman, pwede naman ganun. Um, I'm more concerned about yung parang time mo on spending on marketing. Okay? So you mentioned na parang on and off ka when it comes to marketing. So, That's the thing. Uh, how long have you been enrolled in CRA na? Do you remember when you enrolled? Anong batch ka? <laughs> <laughs> ano? Batch Echo, sorry. <laughs> batch Echo. <laughs> okay lang. Huwag ka mag-guilty. Okay lang yun. Ako. So, Batch Echo ka. Um, that was, I think, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around September. So, I would say na at this time, uh, if you were consistent with your one hour every day, uh, you you should have uh, you should already have clients. Because I'm looking at your work right now. Okay, naman yung work mo, right? So okay, naman siya. I don't see anything wrong with it. And you're getting clients from Upwork also, which was which is one of your concern. Na parang gusto mong gusto mong umalis sa Upwork. So. What you can do is, since meron ka ng momentum kay Upwork, that's not bad at all. I'm not saying na parang, uy, anti-Upwork talaga tayo, ganun. So, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, if you rely solely on Upwork, dun na yung parang end of the world, di ba? Kasi, anytime they can shut your shut your account, they can suspend your account, so that's something that you can't control kasi platform yun nila, right? So, it's, it's a good idea to get yourself out of Upwork pero how you would do it in a sense na you talk to your current clients in Upwork right now sila yung ilalabas mo sa Upwork okay that's where you can start 
Okay, if you wish to really transition from you know freelancing sites to really becoming an independent freelancer, so that's what you can do. Parang you talk to your clients and say na uh, I'm actually getting a lot of fees and back charges or not back charges, but parang I'm still paying for fees and Upwork and Connects, de ba? So merong mga Upwork Connects na kailangan we need to pay. So you can raise that concern to your client, communicate with them. Sa mga current client mo ngayon sa Upwork, yun yung sabihin mo. That's where you, that's how you can transition from Upwork to becoming an independent freelancer is you really talk to your clients first. Now second one is yung concern Wait, ko sa yo. Okay. Can I ano uh, insert something? Actually that's what I've been doing na pala. Um okay. not just only in Upwork, I'm also uh, working in Fiverr. And most of mm. my direct clients, ano, um, doon ang galing na parang, example sa Upwork din, parang first may, meron naman mag- naging clients na nag-start kami sa Upwork, and then, <clears throat> dahil nga, ang laki ng cut ng Upwork, uh, umalis na rin kami sa Upwork. Tapos, may mga, siguro mga 3 to 5 clients ako na naging, naging consistent siya over years, stable siya for a time. And then, nagkataon lang na ano, uh, yung iba nawala na, Mm. Actually, yung iba din na, na naging, uh, nag-refer din uh, on their own. Pero, yun, um, parang siguro ano, from from that strategy na ano, na maging client ko sila first sa Fiverr and Upwork or other online freelancing site and then maging direct client ko sila. Mm, parang ngayon naubos na. <laughs> Pero, uh, curious ako dun sa, ano, dun sa approach mo sa Facebook groups. Although yun nga, um, ano, siguro kailangan ko pang ano, um, maging consistent. Pero sige, you were saying, ano? Second. Yes, so you need to be more consistent on it kasi you mentioned you're on and off. So, ang um, ginagawa ng other mentees, that's why they're still newbies and they're they're getting clients kasi they really are doing it non-stop. <laughs> Tsaka I can witness it. Nakikita ko talaga sila sa Facebook group na parang non-stop talaga yung kanilang, ano, <laughs> kanilang pagmamarket. Kasi some of them are my friends uh, sa Facebook. So, nakikita ko talaga yung activity nila in some of the Facebook groups. And I can really tell na parang yung mga Yung mga nakakuha talaga ng 100k, they really are hustlers, yung ganun. So, you just need to also uh, put that in your habit na parang at least one hour a day, reach out to a specific number of people, di ba? Or if you're, not, if you're not getting a lot of engagement in the Facebook groups, after you've given value to a person, yung parang nag-e-exchange na kayo ng comment with a person, that's the time that you can start messaging them, right? Sa module 4, I have better uh, explanations on that one. Mas marami tayong details doon. Even if just sa workbook, mas maraming details sa workbook kesa sa video. So you can check the workbook out. Merong step-by-step instructions doon. And then... Um, I also revised it in a way na you wouldn't look very salesy, right? So, uh, of course, syempre, uh, meron tayong mga, ano na, meron na tayong mga people or clients Now, when you reach out to them, automatically, they would say na you're salesy or they want, they don't want to talk to you, ganun. So, that one, you should be able to understand that not everyone is going to be your client. You're not going to have 100% of the market share, so that's okay. As long as you continue what you're doing, putting value in the group, helping them whenever you can, try to really communicate, kahit medyo awkward, kahit medyo, you know, feeling mo wrong grammar ka or whatnot, continue doing that until you get to a point wherein you're already exchanging comments in the comment section, that's the time that you can start messaging them and then telling them about your service or at least have a collaborative relationship with them. So, kung meron kang may tutulong dun sa taong yun na message mo, go for it. Okay? So, for example, that person is looking for a, let's say, copywriter. Tapos, hindi ka copywriter. Oh, what you can do is, you can still help that person by asking that person for the details kung anong copywriter yung kailangan niya, pwede mo ipo sa mentees group natin, right? So, you can already help that person regardless. Anong, anong maitutulong yan sa'yo? <laughs> Kumbaga, na, uy, Demi, nirecommend ko siya sa copywriter, wala na akong client. It's okay. 
that's when what you call genuinely building relationships with those people you're not expecting for anything in return but you already know that person sometime someday that person is going to connect with you may mga kailangan din siya may, kak- may kakilala din siya mga kailangan ng motion graphics Okay? So, continue what you're doing. Be consistent lang. The secret is consistency. Consistency is key. Another one, Wayne, before I let you go, no, your your website is still under Wix.com. Okay? So, this one is one of my concerns in Module 4 ba? Or I think... Um, I think it's the website video that I made inside the platform. I would suggest that you buy your own domain para mas professional siyang tingnan. Okay? And then you can remove the Wix branding and really make this entire website your own because I really like the website. It's it's very clean, no? Clean to the eyes. So I know you have the skill already. I can see the graphics here also. They're really nice also. So you don't have a problem with the skill. You're correct, you're in intermediate level, that's good. But please um, try to get your domain, right? Medyo expensive yata si Wix, hindi ko alam. You can try doing uh, WordPress or something else na parang you find it cheaper, di ba? So, uh, yun lang. Um, I think one of the important ones is the domain name, okay? It might also... Baka meron lang ding effect yun sa mga clients na reach out mo kasi your 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 portfolio there are there are people kasi I'm not saying all naman but there are clients also that associate people who hasn't bought their domain names as scams right that's something that we cannot control but at least we can control the I know the portfolio that we have and at least to the best of our ability, we can make it super, super professional. So, if you can already afford it, mag ka for a hosting program or uh, whatever you can to buy the domain already. Okay? So, Wayne, meron ka pa bang follow-up questions? Sige. Last question. Um, since nasanay niya ako sa Upwork um, and sa other online freelancing site, usually sila yung nagbibigay sa akin ng contract. Sa paggawa ng invoice, wala naman ng problem since may pay file. Ano lang, um, paano, I'm not sure kung merong na-discuss sa CRA about creating, ano, um, contract. <laughs> creating a contract, Wayne, meron tayong template inside the academy. Uh, you can log in and then you can look for the ultimate freelancing tools. Tapos, under the ultimate freelancing tools, meron tayo dong market, uh, no, legalization documents. Under legalization documents, meron tayong iba't ibang klaseng contract doon. So, meron tayong contract for hourly, meron tayong contract for um, per project rates, and then we also have deal memos. So, kapag hindi mo carrying gumawa ng contract for now, meron tayong deal memo template na you can just fill in the blanks and then send it to them. That's it. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Sigi Wayne, thank you so much for joining this session. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Kumusta na kayo, mga friends? <laughs> one hour in na tayo, but um, we have one caller still. We have Colette Balestero. She's waiting. Pero Colette, wait, wait ka muna dyan. Um, if, if there isn't anyone else that's going to join, I'm going to consider Colette as the last person. Okay? So, kung meron pa, I will try to send the link again here in the comments and then you can join. Okay? So, I will be um, answering Colette and then probably I would be answering another one as the last person. And then, I will start to go through your comment section and see if, uh, yeah, the comment section and see if I can answer your questions, okay? Let's have Colette here. Colette, hi! Hello, hi! Wow, can you hear me ng iyong, Yes, ang linaw ng iyong, <laughs> ano, <laughs> ang linaw ng iyong Hello. headphones. Hello, Colette, how can I help you? Okay, so um, paano ba ako mag-start? So uh, I'm an aspiring social media manager. Then okay. um, I work for um, I'm from a BPO. So uh, two years ako nag-work sa BPO. But then I gusto ko na talaga mag-freelancing. So binitawan ko lahat <laughs> agad. Tapos. Ah, uh, ang problem ko is client sourcing talaga. Ah, okay. uh, meron na po akong website under Wix din. 
kasi medyo matagal nga akong napakante so hindi ko pa kayang i-afford na bumili ng domain uh, meron din akong up, upwork profile uh, facebook page ano pa ba portfolio, na build ko na din yung portfolio. Kaso, ang nakuha ko pa lang po na clients is uh, Filipino freelancers din na nagwa-work sa international clients. But ending na sobrang dami ng workloads, pero yung pay is uh, sobrang hindi pa kayang saluhin yung mga expenses. Ng, okay. Yun, so. Alright, so this one ha, very heightened concern ito. I I have been, um, I'm part of this Filipino clients, and even me, I'm paying my I'm paying my people like, you know, hi, you know higher than the usual ba, and it's just a little, <laughs> it's a little frustrating lang nakakahi nakakarinig ako na mga ganito. Um, it's also very rampant na parang Filipino clients who are outsourcing yun nga, fellow Filipino freelancers, tapos it's not, you know, they're not being paid well, and I get it, I understand pero sana, you know you you try to also you know, you're already a Filipino freelancer you know very well, ano yung kailangan, ano yung ano yung supposedly you are to pay that person diba? how much that person is worth kasi you're also doing the same work eh. so ayun lang parang disheartening siya for me so in your with your concern um Colleen with your clients ilang clients ilang, ilang Filipino clients ang ano handle mga yon and then how many hours are you working per day uh bali dalawa po yung isa is podcast show notes tapos yung isa is uh, nagwo-work siya sa clients in UK na um, public relations. So um minsan I need to work 12 hours a day pero yung yung kaya lang niya sa akin i-pay is 4 hours or 2 hours pa nga minsan. So medyo masaklap talaga siya. <laughs> Ang sakit sa heart. <laughs> Pahag nga ko, Lee. <laughs> Pahag nga ko, let. Kasi na, nasasaktan ako for you. Okay. So, the, the the Filipino client is only paying you 4 hours per hour, pero you are working 12. Yes. Oo. Kasi yun lang yung kaya. Tapos yung deadline niya is, kailan ko din habulin. Pati deadline kailangan mong habulin. How soon is she delig- or is that person delegating task? Like ilang parang ano yung deadline mo? 20 within 24 hours, within parang, a few hours. Uh, like uh, I need to do 12 contents and creatives per uh, 2 hours. Ganun per 2 so, hours. So kahit yes, so kahit hindi siya hindi siya kaya talaga ng 2 hours. Kailan ko mag-work ng buong araw para maisubmit sa kanya yung yung 12 contents na kailangan niya. Ay, sige, tutulungan kita. <laughs> Don't worry. I will help you in ways that I can. Sige, so Colet, uh, can I have a link to your portfolio first? Sige. So you are doing, ay sorry po mga friends. <laughs> ano nangyari? Bakit na add tong uh, Link. Okay, so can I have the link to your portfolio first? Uh, you can link it in the comment section so that we can uh, we can see. Pasensya na, medyo mapapublic talaga to kasi live, live siya. <laughs> Pero I will look into your portfolio. That's the first thing. Second one is, uh, I'm not sure what your current financial status is, but it really seems na parang that Filipino client is your last option. And I feel for you. I feel bad for you. Nagagalit ako. <laughs> Pero carry lang. Hindi <laughs> ako mag- Hindi <laughs> ako mag um, Very struggle po talaga. <laughs> Sobrang uh-oh. sakit na. <laughs> Ayun. So is Pero that ano? Pero thank you talaga Ms. Demi for doing this. No problem. So firstly, um, can I ask if it's not too personal to ask you about this or kung hindi mo kung hindi mo kere or kung hindi mo kaya ang uh, sagutin you can say uh, no comment or you know pero okay, can no I po. ask if it's if that Filipino client is really the last person parang wala ka talagang options as of this moment ayun nga po parang parang nag 
dadalwang isip na akong bumalik na naman sa mm. eight, eight hours work ng BPO. Kaso, nasa province po kasi ako, ayoko nang iwan yung mga anak ko. So, <laughs> nag so talaga ako na na mai mai tawid ko tong freelancing so yun. okay itatawid natin yan don't worry <laughs> <laughs> so firstly ang iyong portfolio ay nasa Canva hindi ko siya medyo medyo hindi ko siya ma-open ito sa ko, sa comments sandali ah so while i'm trying to ano try to do it do this one um sandali hindi ko siya ma- makita Wait lang talaga guys ha. <laughs> Ayun. Sorry po. Sige, okay lang. Um, eto na. Makita mo. Drink, copy. Ako hindi ko rin siya makaka-copy. Ano ba 'yun? Pat ganun. <laughs> ayan. Ay, pero pala. Wait lang talaga guys ha. Sorry po. Ayan, ayan. Okay, so I was able to open it. So before I'll go to the through your portfolio, first things first muna. Is SMM the only thing that you are doing or meron pang ibang things na ginagawa ka? Like um minsan po admin task like okay. yung SEO. Ano pa ba yung ginagawa SEO ko? SEO pa. My gosh. Oo. Tas yung blog writing minsan. Okay, ang dami mong ginagawa. <laughs> okay, nasasaktan ako for you, my gish. So, um, ang gagawin natin, Colette, first things first is you narrow down your niche. Gaya na sinabi ko kay Jean kanina, you are doing so many things as of this moment. The only way you can stand out is if you really go out there as a person who is currently doing ito lang. Okay? And as for your portfolio, it seems to me na parang um, you're doing social media management naman talaga as your main thing. Kaso you can also do other things, right? So, it's okay if you're doing other things naman for your client. That's not a problem. Yung main thing lang natin is if you're marketing yourself, you have to be very specific, okay? So, you have to market yourself as a social media uh, manager. Okay? That's what you're going to do. So, yun yung niche mo. Now, And the next thing that you're going to do is to identify ideal client avatar, who you really wish to serve. And uh, usually, social media managers are more effective when they are paired with entrepreneurs. Okay, So entrepreneurs is still a very uh, wide niche, or it's, it's still a very wide market. You have to narrow it further. Anong klaseng entrepreneurs yung kailangan mong... Um, or yung gusto mong pagtrabahuan. Uh, when we are talking about ICA, it's usually, number one, kung ano yung gusto mong maging in the future. That's one thing. Kasi mas maientice kang magtrabaho or mas may inspire kang magtrabaho with those people kasi sila yung mga gusto mo talagang maging. ba? Diba? So that's what happened to me. I worked with a lot of female online coaches kasi gusto kong maging ganun, maging female online coach until such time na you know, naging online coach talaga ako. So, you would be more inspired to work with those people. Second one is um, when you are also marketing yourself and you are trying to do your niche, make sure lang then na you are also knowledgeable at least, right? So, at least basic information na kung anong business ni ICA mo or ni dream client mo, at least you have specific knowledge on that one. Kasi medyo mahirap mag-serve ng client na hindi mo alam kung ano yung tinatrabaho nila. Right? So, one uh, one thing that I was very much invited back in a day was to do this um, to do the sales funnel design with a health coach. Inayawan ko kasi I have no idea what she was talking about in terms of parang keto diet or mga ganun yung mga workout workout. Mga like ko ba dyan? <laughs> Wala akong knowledge. So I could do a couple of research here and there pero you would be more effective for your uh, dream clients if you at least know and understand what their business are. So that one. So again, we're doing SMM to entrepreneurs. Narrow it down further. Sino yung gusto mong um, maging dream clients, right? So anong klaseng entrepreneur? For food entrepreneur ba? Gusto mo bang online coaches? Gusto mo bang um, self-publishing authors? Publishing companies? Ang daming klaseng entrepreneurs eh. Klase-klase lang. So you have to really be specific on that. And then... After mo ma-identify yung, yung niche, which is social media marketing, and then yung iyong um, idea client avatars, now you have to start searching them. 
Okay? Google mo yan. Communities for blank entrepreneurs. Communities for blank. Ganito, ganyan. So, LinkedIn groups for blank. Facebook groups for blank. Tapos, you start joining those Facebook groups. You start giving value to those people. Help them when they can. Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina kay Wayne, you have to really go out there and expect nothing in return. Okay? So, it might be very time-consuming. While you are in this um, Filipino client, tiis-tiis lang muna kasi wala pa tayong options ngayon. Eh. Medyo hindi pa tayo makakagalaw. So, um, kahit you're working 12 hours a day, extend, extend muna tayo konti. Kahit 1 hour a day lang or kahit 30 minutes a day lang, mag-market tayo in those Facebook groups. Try giving value. And then, when you are already are starting to exchange comments with a specific person, try contacting them, right? G build genuine relationships with them. As in yung para talagang nakikipagkaibigan ka lang with that person. Right? So, when you are meeting a stranger, kung gusto mo makipagkaibigan sa kanya, or if you want to be friends with that person, and you're going to talk to that person and ask that person relevant questions, diba? So, ano yung mga ginagawa mo? What do, what do you do for a living? What time is it there? Anong, nasa anong state ka? Ah, ako pala na, ako na, nasa Philippines ako, ganito, ganyan. So, ganyan. And then you can also tell this specific story to that person, right? If it's the right time naman, no? Huwag naman yung parang very early in the conversation. You can share this very story to that person and that person will be compelled to help period, right? That person can recommend so many people to you, diba? With just that story, with just, you know, being genuinely um, building relationship with people, not to the point naman na parang, uy, kawaan mo ako, Yanon. So, we're not going to do that, but at least if the time is right, you can share na I'm doing this, right? I'm actually this and this with this person and it's not really doing well, right? And then you, you start to get that conversation flowing. So that's what you're going to do. Medyo time-consuming lang talaga siya kulit, no? Kasi hindi naman tayo nag ng ads. Uh, we can't expedite the process if we're not running ads. So, ganun siya. Pero, um, it's all about consistency. At least kahit 20 minutes, 30 minutes per day lang, kahit hindi na, you know, I know nagtatrabaho ka ng mga 12 hours, pero try lang natin at least mga 30 minutes per day kasi ito yung key mo to success and it's this is the key for you to get out of the current situation that you're in so um yun yung gagawin tapos after that try doing linkedin also a uh, couple of there are still uh, pretty good LinkedIn groups. I'm just not sure exactly how high quality they are kasi parang pitch party dyan sa LinkedIn eh. <laughs> Yun lang yung problema talaga dyan sa LinkedIn kasi everyone is just messaging you about their, ano, their business or parang they would try to say, parang na, nababasa ko na kung ano, parang na, na tawag niyan, parang alam ko na kung ano yung next message ng person pag nag-message sa akin yan sa LinkedIn, sasabihin, how are you? I'd like to be friends with you. Wala na. Alam ko na kung anong kasunod. <laughs> parang nababasa ko na kung ano yung mga ano sa LinkedIn. So, you can oh, try pa rin naman. Um, yes, you can try pa rin naman sa LinkedIn groups, right? Hindi naman necessary na you have to really reach out to them. Pero, it would be nice if you have built genuine relationships muna before you pitch anything. So, like I said, um, expectations ng natin with this one this is not going to happen in a snap of a finger medyo time consuming talaga siya ganun talaga kapag nag-market eh medyo time consuming talaga siya in the beginning especially if you're building your client base from the very the from scratch so mas mahirap talaga pag nagsisimula ka but once you already got the momentum then you can keep on going tapos yung clients mo tuloy tuloy na lang talaga there are so many mentees that are telling me na parang they got their first client after yung tuloy tuloy na kaagad so once you got that first client dire diretso na siya so all you need to do is really get that first one and then mag ano na siya mag snowball na siya Okay? So, just follow those things, siguro, and then if you need more help, I mean, everyone naman who is watching this video, no, if you need help, you can message us naman on the Facebook page. Pero yun nga, hindi ko siya na-check personally, but Shem and Hazel are very much trained to answer your questions. So, I don't ask them to parang neglect lang questions here and there. They really are trained to answer specific questions. So, Ano yan? Uh, you can you can update us or you can message us in the Facebook page if you have more questions. Okay? Okay. So, thank you so much, Demi. Thank you so Antame much. Ang dami kong natutunan today. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you then, Colette. And I hope that you will get better, no? So this is just something that you are going to tell other people soon. So this is going to be your success story. Nagsisimula ka pa lang. So this success story is going to get better. Okay? So nasa simula ka pa lang. Wala pa yung mga, yung mga plot, mga denoma, mga skimber do ng iyong story. So be, be positive lang. It's going to have, ano, um, meron tayong... Merong ilaw sa labas ng tunnel. <laughs> you just, right now, right now lang nasa tunnel ka pa lang talaga. And it's very madilim. So, you have to continue walking until you find that end of the tunnel. Okay? Sige. Okay. Thank you. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas then Colette. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, we have one caller. One caller na lang, tapos I'll start getting through your ano ha, uh, mga questions dito sa comments. Okay, let's see. Helen? 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 Nasa Helen ako! Okay, sige. Minawa ka ta. <laughs> okay, wait. Inuminom muna tayong tubig. Drink your water, B. Okay, wait muna. Sige, while we are waiting for our last caller, no, baka, baka babalik si Helen mamaya. Wait muna natin. Uh, I'm going to see... Uh, I'm going to see. Yeah. Ayan. You know, si Helen. Helen ako. Yeah. Helen! <laughs> Hi! Hi! Thank you. How are you? No problems. Bye. How can I help Helen? Hello. Good evening, Demi Bernice. Ah, uh, kompleto uh, no, Demi Bernice talaga eh. <laughs> <laughs> Sige. So, pasensya na ah, ano, fan food fan mo talaga ako eh kasi lagi talaga oh, ako nanonood eh. ng mga videos mo. And Thank you. Now, ano, ngayon nga I ano, ngayon kasi I'm on work pa rin eh. Dito ako sa duty ko. Hindi ah! <laughs> ko pala inan continuous yung continuous pala yung ano ko, yung call ko kasi ay ngayon kaka nanonood pa rin ako sa it's naririnig ko kinukol mo na ako so, so nagulat ako hindi ko expected thank you thank you din no problem sige um, thank you sa ano, opportunity nasa work ka oh, hindi ka ba papagalitan diyan baka hindi hindi naman wag lang sana nanonood ng post <laughs> sige go saglit lang naman to eh Okay. Uh, yeah, i-grab ko lang yung opportunity kasi nga siguro prayer ko to and then God answer me na nakausap pa kita live pa. No. Oh my God. Asensya <laughs> <laughs> na ay, ano, hindi ako ganun ka-fluent mag-English. Ay, okay lang. So, Tagalog na lang ako. <laughs> sure, why not coconut? Thank Go. you, thank you. Um, Demi kasi, uh, last, ano lang, this year, napanood ko nga yung about sa freelancing, your, yung video mo nga about doon. And then, na-inspire ako. Tapos maliban pa doon, meron din ako na panood about sa working from home. Pero, syempre, mas better po yung freelancing, freelancer. And then, ano, habang na-inspire ako noon, so, nagkukontinuous ako, nag-aaral ako. Tapos, lahat halos ng video mo na pinapanood ko. And then, natutunan ko nga doon yung, yung niching down. Ang isa, at saka, isa number one nga dito, yung road to success. At saka, alam ko, mine, na, na email mo na rin ako. Kasi, Sayang nga, hindi ko talaga nagagrab yung opportunity sa enrollment. <laughs> Sige lang, Ayan, siguro, go. Siguro, hindi, hindi pa right time. Pero, since ngayon na-work ko na siya, and pinafollow ko naman yung mga instructions na tututunan ko sa'yo, tapos yung deciding nga your niche, marami talaga ako nagawang parang niche, tapos nabago niche ulit, nabago ulit, <laughs> parang ganun. <laughs> okay lang yan. Yung, yan ano. ko talaga yung sarili ko, pero, ang sabi mo nga kasi, yung kung hindi yung gusto na ako nag enjoy or ang pipiling ko na lang yung lagi ko nang ginagawa. So, ang sa kaka, na, pag, natutunan ko is yung SMM nga, Social Media Manager. I okay. think yun yung, kaya ko, yun yung kaya kong gawin kasi yun naman yung nag-online selling na rin kasi ako eh. May mga ano, product ako na sinisell online. So, yun yung niche na alam ko. Kaso, And then, trinay ko din po yung sa ICA ko, kung anong gusto ko. Alam ko na kung anong gusto kong ano, ideal client avatar. Gusto ko is yung mga vision women and entrepreneur. And then, ngayon nga, hawain nanonood ako sa'yo, natutunan ko na malawak pala yung entrepreneur. That's why, parang nahirapan ako na ano, na, na try ko na kasi mag-message dun sa group na 
May nakausap na ako, Demi. Na-try ko yung sinabi mo maghingi ng free. Free okay. for testimony. Mm. Free service for testimony in exchange. Ganon. Tapos may nakausap ako, sobrang happy ako kasi alam po, mabait din yung mga nakausap kasi na Christian. And then may nun akong na-try ko. Basta nagawa ko na sinabi mo communication din. Nagpapalo talaga ako, Demi, sa'yo. <laughs> Iba. <And> then, yun. <laughs> Kulang na lang talaga enrollment eh. Okay lang, Ayan, pwede niyo mag-enroll basta mag-take action. Okay na, okay ako dyan. Okay, yun. <laughs> yes, baby, yun talaga yun. Tapos yun. Pero ang nakausap ko kasi, eh, syempre, sabi ko nga, ang kaso Demi, nung nandyan ako sa moment na yun na may client na, di ba? So for testimonial na, di ba? Nagawa ko na siya. Uh, doon naman ako parang na-stock Demi na, what's next? <laughs> kasi ano yun, yung question ko na ngayon, what's next? Kasi nga, Siyempre yung nandun, entrepreneurs, and then meron naman akong isa pang client na nakausap ko din. Um, ang gusto niya naman, mag-engage lang ako dun sa, dito naman ako sa kanya, mag-engage ako dun sa page niya. Ang tanong ko, bilang S- SMM ba, ako yung need na, need ba na kailangan, um, ako yung magsasign in ng account nila? Or sila mm. pa rin yung mag-post, ganun? Yun, yung parang nalito. At saka yung about din sa contract. Okay. Wala sige. akong idea talaga. So, marami tayong i-unpack. <laughs> first muna is, okay lang. Yung first muna is, uh, yung ideal client avatar mo. You have decided already that you want to uh, become social media manager. Tapos gusto mo ng women entrepreneur. So, na, na-mention mo kanina, Christian. Christian women entrepreneur. Yes, That's a yes, really Christian good woman. niche. That's a really good niche already. It's not as wide kasi if you characterize pa, di ba, women entrepreneur, o di ba, si, kahit sinong babae, kas, kasama ako doon sa women entrepreneur. Pero kung ina-narrow down pa natin siya na Christian lang talaga, then yes, that is yes. a very feasible niche. Di ba? So you can do that. Social media manager for women or, or Christian women entrepreneurs. Very, ano, very, very specific siya na niche. And madali lang din silang hanapin talaga. So, Christians always flock naman in a very specific community. Tapos, eto pa. Ang maganda dyan kasi Christian communities are very tight. They can easily recommend you to another women entrepreneur and then another and then another. Yun lang yung nakakaganda talaga kapag may ICA, guys. Yung mga ICA mo, meron pa yan silang mga connections na similar din in their industry. So, they can always recommend you. So, that's number one, di ba? So, you can try women entrepreneur. Nandyan ka na eh. Meron ka ng pro bono with Christian entrepreneur. So, maganda na yun. Okay na yun siya. Uh, as for engagement, tinanong mo kung kailangan ma ikaw mag in. So, yes, that's your job. Uh, you are supposed to log in in their account. Usually, ano mangyayari dyan is if the social media platform does not have the ability to add users in the account. Kasi sa YouTube, meron silang ganyang feature. Uh, kung YouTube, nasa YouTube studio ka, you can actually add a user to that YouTube account. Ang Facebook naman, walang ganyan. Uh, Facebook page meron. Instagram, I'm not sure. I think meron din silang ability. But I'm Facebook, just not sa very... Sa Facebook page na yun. Okay, sa Facebook page. So, what you're going to ask is if your client or if your pro bono client or your clients in the future can assign you as an admin or moderator. Mm-hmm. Diba? Okay. So, that's that's how you Thank can um, start producing content or start managing their social media na with that very image or with that very brand. So, yun yung gagawin. Um, engagement also is included in SMM. I think one of the things na parang um, parang ini-encourage in other people is liking other people's posts. I think that's engagement. So that's also part of your job. Uh, apart from that is Canva also. Canva yung mga yung mga social media graphics, right? So naka nakapag-try ka na ba sa Canva or naka-try ka na bang gumawa ng social yes, media? Yes, marami graphics? na akong Yes, Miss Demi, marami na akong sample. And then, yun nga si isang client ko na isa. Uh, nabigyan ko na lang siya ng sample na gusto niya naman. Sabi niya nga, pwede to. Kasi tinanong ko siya, kung anong pwede kong maitulong sa kanya as a nice. SMM. At saka, alam ko, sinabi ko rin kasi na, bago lang ako. So, sabi niya, sige, ano, ka, alam mo ba yung Canva? Yes, alam ko din. Nung nagbigyan ko ng sample, sabi niya, pwede pala tayo sa PIN. PIN for Pinterest. Another na naman, ah. Sabi ko, ah, ah. 
na open ko yun kasi na curious din ako doon pero wala akong idea ngayon sinerch ko nag nanood ako ng YouTube about doon nagkaroon ako ng idea ah madali lang pala mas madali siya ga- gawin sa Canva yung baga mas hmm. madali kasi ano lang yun nag- napag- nagagawa ko na nga rin ang kaso lang nga marami pa kami parang nasabi niya sa akin kasi this time kasi alam niya na new pa lang ako hindi niya rin ako maano nang masyado sa mga question ko kasi nga December and then online class so sabi niya pwede kami on January yun ang mabait talaga siya yun natuwa naman ako doon sabi ko sige thank you yung nagka-communicate naman kami kaya doon ako sa isa ngayon yun yung ano ko sa kanya sa page Okay, ayun. So, ayun naman pala. You're you're already having the the beginning, no? So that's really nice. Uh, I think wait lang. Chika natin na sana hindi ka ma- <laughs> magsabi ka lang yes or no. Hindi naman nila naririnig, pero meron ka bang balak okay, na naman. mag-quit? Mag or as in Yes, ano? yun yun yun. Yes, Demi, yun yung talaga yung dream ko next year. Pinipray ko rin yun as a diba, you know naman as a Christian yung gusto ko nga. Yun yung pray ko and then lahat ng sagot ko, Demi, almost yes yung sagot niya sa akin ni Lord. And then, isa na ito, sa answer prayer, na kausap kita mismo. <laughs> <Thank God>. Okay. <laughs> Ang galing okay. ni Lord. Of course. So, galing galing talaga si Lord. <laughs> okay, sige. So, uh, balik tayo sa question mo, no? Ang um, iyong, ano na lang, uh, yung, I think, what I, what I can suggest sa iyo na lang to, to move forward is hopefully meron ka ng savings right so ito yeah. yung pinaka uh, major major talaga na issue is ayoko kung gayahin niyo ako where <laughs> wala akong okay. savings yung nagquit ako uh, malaking problema yon kasi hindi ako nakapagbayad ng re- ng upa so wag mong gayahin <laughs> supposedly uh, what i would suggest is at least 6 to 9 months of income right so six to nine months of your uh, total expenses is your savings kung meron kang lesser than that then mas mas pressured ka para magtrabaho which is good naman it's a good pressure pero um at least lang kung meron kasing six to nine months mas malaki kasi yung iyong leeway para makapag work talaga in freelancing or at least you can have the full adjustment ba Kung baga, hindi ka mag, mag, uh, magkakaroon ng hard time when it comes to transitioning kasi hindi ka na pressure in terms of pera. Ganon siya. When you are starting out. Ang nangyari kasi sa akin, yung nung, nung nag-start ako, mas pressure ako kasi kailangan ko talaga ng pera. So, lahat ng mga ginawa ko nung nag-start ako, wala talaga yun. As in, parang, para as in, <laughs> parang trial and error talaga siya. So, yun lang. Mas, mas hindi ka na pressure na to make things perfect if you have the savings. So, savings, tapos, uh, next thing, after the savings, kung nag-quit ka na, meron ka ng portfolio, start doing your own, ano na, um, value posts in the group. Value posts, try answering other people's questions, building genuine relationships, yun yun. Um, na, na-mention ko na yan sa mga ibang callers yes, kanina. Yes, yes. Nag-practice na rin ako nun kasi sinasabi ko nga, hindi man ako fluent mag-English, pero in writing naman, ay alam ko naman na carry ko siya. So, yun na yung ginagawa ko. Try ko muna na, na, na write takedowns and then sa ako na lang post ganon siya. And then, ang pwede ba ako mag-follow up question? Sure, why not, Coconut? Um, how, paano nga pala yung sa contract Demi, yung paano mag magbigay ng contract ko ba mag ask noon or ako ga, magagawa pa yun yung ano ko yun yung kailangan ko ba siyang humingi ng contract or kahit wala na so supposedly dapat meron ka talaga ang contract ang contract naman kasi hindi naman siya kailangan na parang parang attorney talaga ang gumawa what we do in CRA is we have something that we call deal memo so, deal memo in a sense na hindi siya as formal as a contract. Kita mo, pag-contract, di ba, parang dugudugo yung ilong mo sa English. Okay. Ang daming, yung, ano, <laughs> ang daming mga hard, ano may naman doon. May mga ano-ano ba yun? Mga Uh-oh. level-level or what? <laughs> parang Meron ano yan. lang siya, para, parang ano lang pala, parang, uh, oh, nito, yung di- deal memo nga lang talaga, parang mm. yun. So, deal memo, um, mas easy siya. Nila. Mm, parang napagkasundoan lang, parang written note lang siya. So, ano yung mga ilalagay mo sa deal, deal memo? Number one, ano yung mga deliverables? Ano yung kailangan mong i-deliver kay client? Kailan? Okay, very important. 
Ano yung mga kailangan i-deliver? Ilan doon? Qual- uh, quantity of that is very important. Tatlong graphics ba? Apat ba? Lima? Ganito, ganyan. Tapos, um, kailan mo siya i-deliver? Deadline of that very deliverable. Very important din. Next one is, ano yung boundaries mo as sa ganyang project? So, anong tawag natin in terms of boundaries? So, kung, for example, I can only give you um, what I have experienced. So, sa graphic design kasi, meron tayong mga clients na hindi talaga sila, hindi ka nila tinatantanan when it comes to revisions. So, for you to have a boundary, para hindi ka parang paulit-ulit ng paulit-ulit ng paulit-ulit na parang yung project walang katapusan, I, I limit the revisions. So, hindi ako nagpapa-unlimited revisions. So, sa kanila, uh, meron lang silang parang 10 revisions. Right? Kung, kung mag-i-increase sila or kung magpapa-revise pa sila after the 10 times na binigay ko sa kanila, they have to pay me na. So, this is, these are your boundaries na you have to figure out for yourself as a social media manager. Kung ilang, for example, ilang accounts lang yung i-handle mo para sa ganyang price. Okay? Ilang accounts lang. Okay? Tapos, ano ba yung mga working hours mo? Yun yun yung mga boundaries. Okay? Yun yung tinatawag nating terms and conditions. Anong oras ka magtatrabaho? So, in terms of oras, kailangan i-convert mo siya sa Eastern Time. Kasi hindi naman pwede na bigyan natin sila ng Philippine Time. No? Pahirapan pa natin si client, yes, ipakonvert yes. pa natin. <laughs> so, kailangan, yung mga sinabi kong date okay. sa'yo, uh, kailangan naka-Eastern Time sila. Para sila na yung okay. bahalang mag-convert. Okay? Tapos, uh, yun nga, the, the, the deadline of that specific project, kung, kung meron mang ano, meron mang deadline, right? So, yun lang yung mga importante. Create boundaries, most especially, kasi yun talaga yung um, purpose ng deal memo is to create boundaries between you and the client. Okay? So, ano naman yung mga boundaries na kailangan kong gawin? Kasi hanggang dito lang ako, right? Hanggang dito lang so, yung binayad mo, kumbaga. Sorry, Demi. <laughs> So, hindi mi kahit ba sa pag parang free for testimony need ng deal, deal memo. Uh, hindi naman kailangan ng strict na deal memo kapag pro bono, pero at least meron ka, rip, ka pa ring boundaries kasi ang nangyayari ah, kapag okay. free, ang nangyayari kapag free na abuso ka din eh. So, pag SMM, for example, gusto mo merong pro bono, gusto mo bang 3 days lang mag-handle ng account nila, 1 week, 1 month ba, para medyo merong result, or 3 months ba, ganito, ganyan, ilang oras per day ka magtatrabaho for them. So, yun yung mga terms and conditions mo. Yan. So, with SMM din kasi, ang mahirap jan is, if yung, what my other mentees have told me, I actually recommended this to CRA mentees na parang, uy, you do pro bono for SMM, and then ang daming SMM nag-complain. <laughs> Kasi daw, uh, you are not, you cannot, um, parang you cannot create a result for a person or wala ka masyadong insights yet for a person in a very short period of time. So, when you are doing pro bono for a person kung SMM ka, ang pwede mong gawin is, um, you can say na parang specific number of followers, okay? So, you can grow that very amount of specific number of followers or you can create you can create social media graphics lang for that person. Tapos, ilimit mo lang din kung ilang social media graphics yung iyong i-offer for that person. Okay. Wow. So, yun thank siya. you, thank you, Demi. Sobrang no helpful nito lahat ng binigay mo sa akin. Sobrang thankful. Thank you, thank you. Advance Merry Christmas. Advance Love Merry you. Christmas din. Love you din. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nag-freeze din ka agad si Helen pagkatapos niyang magbabay. Ayan. Okay. Sige. Um, let's see. We're already 1 hour and 40 minutes in. Um, ating ina-narrow down na ito with the question and answer portion na lang tayo sa comment section. Okay? Let's see kung meron tayo mga question dito. <laughs> okay. Let's see muna. Okay, Fatima Joy Mendoza Basa is asking, how can we convert followers to paying clients? What's the services to offer? Fatima, this, there are so many things to unpack on this one. Number one, how did you build your followers? Kasi you might have Facebook page followers for writing, but you are planning to offer graphic design, hindi siya nagmamatch. 
Okay? It's very important how you earn those followers. It has to be related to what you are planning to offer to them. Kung hindi naman siya nagmamatch ng ganun, edi, it's very impossible for you to convert them to paying clients. Perfect example. Meron, merong person, influencer siya. Tapos, <laughs> hindi ko na lang, na narinig ko lang to kay Gary V ha, sa mga Gary V videos. She's an influencer and she's posting, you know, mga sexy pics, right? So, she's a, she's a female person, influencer, sexy pics. Tapos, Later on, she asked people to, um, what do you call this? To buy her merchandise or merch. Yung parang mga printed shirts na pinagawa niya, so on and so forth. That was her way of monetizing her followers on Instagram. So, what happened was, she gained followers because she was posting sexy pics. Okay? And who are those people who are very much attracted to sexy pics? You already know. Diba? Yun sila yung that very specific type of people. And so, if you're going to ask them to pay for a t-shirt, even just a very simple shirt, but they're there to watch your sexy pics or to like your sexy pics, it's not going to match. Right? So, you have to consider where or how you gain those followers if that's even related to the service that you are planning to offer. Naturally, if you have built a following where... You, what you're offering is also very related to them. Something that, that can help their lives or something that can improve their lives for the better, then that's the time that they will naturally give you their money. Otherwise, it's really not going to happen. <laughs> diba? So, ganun siya. Okay. Next. Um... Sheena is asking, just want to ask, what are the editing tools I should focus on as a beginner graphic designer? Can you also share the editing tools you are using with us? Uh, Sheena, when you are a beginner, Canva is always the best, diba? So Canva has the best uh, user interface out there in terms of uh, photo editing because it's only drag and drop. But drag and drop lang naman siya. It's very easy. You don't really need to be familiar with the tools because, you know, it's very easy naman. It's very user-friendly. And that's what I can suggest in terms of editing, but the video editing, but or or photo editing. <laughs> so video editing, naman. Um, I cannot really suggest anything. I haven't found any beginner video editing software that is very nice. For, I think Adobe Spark would do. Adobe Spark, Adobe Spark, bayun. Oh, I think Adobe Spark, and then. There are also mobile apps naman that are very beginner friendly when it comes to video editing. But I think their only consequence is that their branding or their logo is at the bottom of your videos. Yun lang yun. But, and you can't sell that to your clients. Kasi meron siyang branding of that, I know, <laughs> that very logo. So they, you can't sell that to your clients. Um, editing tools that I'm using in terms of photos, I use Lightroom and Photoshop. And then in terms of video, I'm using Final Cut Pro. Uh, I also use Adobe Premiere Pro back in the day, pero medyo mahal siya. So, nag-final cut na lang ako. <laughs> okay, next. Um, oh, thank you so much. I just want to commend you for being helpful and giving out useful tips. Aha, thank you, Pro. Let's see. Um, Jaya is asking, what would be the first introduction po or parang statement kapag nag-create ng value sa mga possible clients? When you're creating value with a client, you're not supposed to have a scripted statement. Just genuinely ask them, how are you? What's your business? What's your business? Or genuinely answer their questions, right? So sa mga groups, meron yung mga maraming nagtatanong dyan. Right? Maraming questions kapag nasa community. Sandali, inom mo na ako tubig. Drink your water, B. <laughs> Tumang-tuwa ako, you know? Narecommend ng, ng friend ko, no? community manager, may sabi niya, manood ka muna ng drink your water, B daw, bago ako mag-live. So, pinanood ko. Ngayon, mm. <laughs> drink your water, B na ang ano, <laughs> ang, tawag nito, <laughs> tumatuloy ako, na ang slogan or ang motto ng live video na to. <laughs> Okay, create value, possible clients. So, you don't really need to script that out, kung mga statements. Pakalala ka lang. That's, that's your name. Answer their questions. You know, be genuine. Kesa script natin, then it would become 
um, ano tawag yan? Inauthentic, di ba? Okay. How to find a good niche po? I don't know what I'm good at. Niching is really depend, you know, when you're finding a niche or, yeah, when you're finding a niche, it's it usually has something to do with what you are already, um, what do you call this? What you have done when you were a kid, right? So in my case, I was doing art ever since I was nine. So it was only, it only made sense na parang, if I'm going to pursue anything freelancing, it should be in graphic design because it's about art, right? So, you try to go down memory lane and check to yourself ano yung mga things na ginagawa mo nung bata ka pa that you really, really enjoy. Okay? That's one thing that you can consider. Next one is, what are the businesses or ano yung mga skill naman or mga niches that you are highly interested in? So, Jacqueline, parang ano na, um, you might be already knowledgeable kung ano yung mga skills in freelancing, di ba? Or you can Google it kung ano yung mga skills in freelancing that are possible that you can offer to your clients. And then, you can start researching about it. Research about it and see what interests you the most. So, so from 1 to 10 ng blog na, na nabasa mo about the niches in freelancing, ano yung mga, uh, ano yung mga niche na that interested you the most? And then start researching them. Kung are you really interested in that? Start researching them. Kaya mo ba yun? You know. And then Jacqueline, your next sentence. I don't know what I'm good at. Um, please spend time thinking about who you are as a person, right? Yung mga fears mo, mga doubts mo. Bakit ka natatakot? Bakit ka doubtful? Bakit? Um, are you, do you really want to pursue freelancing? Gusto mo ba talaga to, right? Start asking those questions kasi I, I feel like you also need that kind of self-reflection, right? So it will also help you in finding your niche if you know yourself better, if you know what your strengths and weaknesses are at least, okay? So I'm sure naman, I'm sure naman, Jacqueline, you're good at something and that something can be monetized and, you know, that something is also what other people need. Okay, let's see. All right. Sanayan. Haley Ford is asking, would you like, uh, would like to ask if, what are your strategy, strategy to get seven digit income? First is solve people's problem. And then find a way to market that, period. <laughs> Entrepreneurship is very much connoted as making money or like a way of making money. But it's not really that. When you are an entrepreneur, you are actually solving people's problems. And naturally, if you solve other people's problems, they're very much willing to pay you for it. Okay? So, ganun lang. When you are... Um, you also try to the problem that you're also solving pala should be something that you are familiar of something that you have experienced also back in the past that was also your problem back in the past and you have solved it for yourself now you're also teaching people how to solve it or you are helping other people how to solve it so there next any link po where we can purchase those books Nighty, sorry, pero wala akong link as of this moment. If I do, or if I'm going to make another video about, you know, uh, the books, books that I read, I will link them to Amazon. Kasi usually naman, ang, ano ko, ang place ko to buy books is Amazon or fully booked. So, fully booked on, <laughs> fully booked talaga, uh, di ba? <laughs> Hindi ako batang national, sorry sa mga batang national dyan. <laughs> Fully booked po talaga ako. Kasi their, their book choices are really good. no So, there. Uh, usually, sa fully booked ako, uh, bumibili ng books. Or sa, ano, sa Amazon. Ayan. ICA. What is ICA daw? ICA is ideal client avatar or the person that you want to serve. Okay? Let's see. Pering dering. Brand and model of that. Ah, tapos na pala to. <laughs> na answer ko na pala to. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Rizy, I would like to offer web copywriting services sana, pero I'm confused on which clients to serve. Do you think it's okay lang to choose a very specific industry for me to venture to? Lang not to choose a very specific industry. So, Rice, ganito kasi yan. 
Uh, pag, pag hindi kasi siya very specific, it's very hard for you to stand out. Kasi marami ng copywriters eh. So, what makes you different that your client is going to choose you against all copywriters out there? Okay? And then, ang nangyayari, ang nangyayari kasi kapag hindi ka masyadong specific, that's what's, happen- that's what's happening. Kasi you... Uh, for example, a health coach might come to you for copywriting services. Eh, kaso wala kang experience in copywriting services. So, sasabihin sa'yo ni, ano, ni client na, ah, okay, wala ka palang experience na ganito. So, that person might find other, com- uh, not competitors, but, but you know, ap- not applicants, but probable freelancers na she can work with who are knowledgeable in that very niche. Okay? That is why it's very important to niche in a specific market or in specific ideal client avatar kasi you can you can tell the client na uy, marami ako experience sa ganitong specific industry, I can definitely help you with this. That's a super plus point. Meaning may experience ka sa industry na yan, mas madali silang mas madaling i-sell yung service mo. Okay? So ganun siya ang nangyayari. That's why I always encourage people to be very specific with who they want to serve. Kasi apart from that fact where it's very easier, it's easier for you to stand out kasi may brand ka na and you're an authority on something and you can tell your client na may experience ako sa ganitong industry. Apart from that, gaya na sinabi ko kanina, whoever your ideal client avatar is, my friend din sila, my friend, my best friend, my relative sila na in the same industry as them. And then if you good if you did a good job, they can recommend you to that very colleague. So more clients for you, right? So ganun siya, parang nagsu-snowball siya if you have a very specific industry. Okay? Let's see. Ano pa? Leila, about giving value to your prospect avatar. How about since I'm a newbie in my chosen niche, in my chosen niche, so how can I comment or give value if I don't have experience? Also, I'm finding hard to find pro bono jobs also. So Leila, in order for you to help, you need to read more, you need to do more research. Okay? Learning is a never-ending process and so if you wish to um, help more people, you have to continuously read, you have to continuously research. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I can't go here weekly on a live video if I'm not learning something. <laughs> Patay tayo dyan. <laughs> Kung every week ako mag-live video, tapos wala akong, ano, wala akong masasabi sa inyo or wala akong may share sa inyo kasi hindi ako nag- nag-study or ganun. So, same thing with being a teacher, right? Kapag teacher ka, it's impossible for you to go to the class next day kung hindi mo lang kung hindi mo binasa or wala kang experience in teaching a very specific topic. So ganun lang yun siya Leila. And in terms of finding pro bono, um I'm I'm not sure kasi with your comment so I have to uh you have to ask yourself how long have you been trying to find pro bono clients? Did you start with your Facebook account? Facebook account, your very personal Facebook account, you can start finding pro bonos there. Maraming friends mo magko-comment and then your friends can be your pro bono clients. Okay? So ganun siya. Okay. I miss Freya daw. Freya is sleeping over here oh in my lap. <laughs> On my lap pala. Nandito naman tayo sa ano <laughs> prepositions. Natulog siya mga friends kasi ang ginawa ko, pinakain ko siya before ako nag-live video para walang ano, walang tatakbo-takbo sa likod. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Meron pa tayong mga ano dyan. Um. Oh, ang sweet naman ito. You really are inspiring lot of Filipinos and you're changing people's lives. Thank you. Thank you din, Claude, for your, um, ano tawag nito? Comment. Ayan. Baby Ash Salvamente. SMM po ako and I have a local client and pinapagawa ako ng marketing video ads. Ask ko lang po kung ano yung mas madali na apps na pwedeng gamitin na may avatar. Ano? What do you mean by my avatar? Yung bang yung may animation? <laughs> Yun yata yung may animation eh. So, I don't know if you are very open to paid apps or paid softwares. Kasi one of the best animation video softwares that are out there is Vyond. So, Vyond is V-Y-O-N-D. Sila so far yung pinaka 
pinaka the best I think na nakita kong animation software na nasa internet right now. It's very like there's so many options. Pwede mo i-change yung hair ng avatar or ng ano, so ganun siya. You might want to check that out. There are also other alternatives, pero I think lahat sila they are paid. So you might want to check your client on that one if she's uh, if he or she is very much willing to pay for a subscription. Kasi anyway, if you're making marketing video ads and you need that consistently, hindi mo naman hindi mo naman siya kailangang ano, bayaran baby. So 'di ba baby ang tawag ko sa iyo para na tayong magjowa. <laughs> so hindi naman siya, hindi naman necessary na ikaw yung magbayad yan kasi hindi naman ikaw yung ano, diba? So, you can suggest that very software lang siguro to your client and then see if your client can afford it and then that's what you can use. Pero meron pa talagang other alternatives kasi medyo mahal din si Vionde. Eh. So, you can try other alternatives then na medyo cheaper if you have. So, make a list na lang siguro of the softwares that you can use and then present that to your client pero you are, sup- you are not supposed to pay for that subscription, ha? Kasi hindi naman ikaw yung, ano, hindi naman ikaw yung gagamit niyan consistently. So, it's not for you. It's for them. So, there. Oh, uh, thank you so much for your kind words, guys. Thank you though for doing this effort. I'm a huge fan and I hope I can afford your module sooner. Nako, okay lang talaga pag di niyo afford yung modules, you know. Ang importante lang gaya ni Helen kanina, oh, 'di ba? So, she's watching the videos and she's also taking action. Yun lang talaga yung importante. <laughs> Kung gusto niyo naman ng ano, ng community and ng mga bonggang activities like virtual karaoke, tsaka mga palarong pambansa <laughs> sa loob ng community, tsaka if you also wish to meet the people inside CRA, uh, they're also very high quality people naman and they're super awesome. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how they found me. <laughs> Pero the community in itself is one of the biggest things that I really am thankful of in my life forever. Oh, sweet! Oh, diba? Okay. Uh, meron na lang tayong two minutes na lang tayo, guys. So, bibilisan ko na to. Hannah, Tome, Miss Demi, should we offer free work in exchange for testament or reviews? At least in the beginning, Hannah, medyo mga five people lang siguro. Okay? At least five, at least. At most five people, at least three people, uh, do free work for them in exchange for testament. You can start with your personal Facebook account. Post ko lang sa Facebook account mo sa'yo. Oh, bibuild uh, ako ng portfolio. Kailangan ko ng testimonials. Sino yung gusto na free logo. Oh, di ba? Tapos yung mga friends mo, mga etosera mga friends. <laughs> mga etosera mga friends talaga. Mga etosera mga friends mo mag-comment yan sa'yo. Ay, ako. Hana, ako. Gusto ko ng free logo. Ganun. So you can start with your Facebook account and there's a pro bono. People make it very complicated and they try to go to Facebook groups already. But no, you can start with your own fa- Facebook account. That's what I did. <laughs> Alright, diba? Ian, anin yun? Is it possible to start freelancing at the age of 16? Can use my parents' PayPal account to receive payments for clients. Pwede naman. Um, <laughs> medyo worried lang ako nito, no? Kasi, sorry ha, the usual Filipino setting kasi sa atin, eh, kapag yung anak mo nag-earn ng money, feeling mo din, ikaw, meron kang share of that money, no? Okay lang naman si anak, uh, tutulong naman yan sa'yo, di ba? Pang bigas, pang kanin, pang ganun. Tutulong naman voluntary si anak, pero... Hindi naman mommy divide ang show. <laughs> Wag naman ganun. <laughs> okay, medyo medyo worried ako iyan pero carry bells lang. If you trust your parents and hindi naman sila yung mommy di, yes, go. <laughs> mm. Okay, next. Um Okay, so yung mga nag ask about specific prices, prices, mga rates, uh, there are actually a lot of factors when it comes to pricing. So it could be your experience, how good you are at what you're doing. Um, yes, yeah, so yun yung mga factors. So if you're going to ask me like, how much is the rate for graphic design? How much is the rate for logo? So medyo hindi ko siya ma-answer in a sense na, number one, I did not see your work yet. So parang hindi ko siya mag-gauge kung magaling ka ba talaga and you're supposed to be charging this much or beginner ka pa lang and then hindi ka pa medyo makakapag-raise ng rate kasi ganito ganyan. So, medyo nahihirapan ako mag-gauge. So, 
if you wish to ano naman, if you wish to really learn the, these rates, try doing industry rates muna. Ano yung mga beginner industry rates? You can research that, that naman in Google. There are so many blogs about that then. So, depending if you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, um, you have to research the industry rates depending on the skill din that you are doing. Okay, ayan na. Two hours na tayo. Last na lang. Last question. Okay, let's see here. Um... James is asking, Hello, Miss Demi, can you suggest rare or uncommon client avatars na hindi masyadong alam ng marami? So, James, ganito kasi yan. <laughs> Kapag kasi client avatars na hindi masyadong alam ng marami, ang downside kasi dyan, mas mahirap silang hanapin. Okay? So, pag mas mahirap din silang hanapin, meaning konti lang din sila in number. Pag konti sila in number, meaning hindi rin siya magiging feasible na market. Okay? So, that is why um, people would always say na it's always best if we have competitions kasi you know that it's working. Right? So, that's why uh, people would always say na, ah, yung sabi ni ano, nandun daw siya sa mga <laughs> sa mga travel bloggers yung kanyang ICA and then you heard that person to be um, earning well in that area. Hindi naman masama <laughs> No, I mean, erase, erase, erase. It's it's actually bad if you're going to 100% copy them, but you can serve that specific ICA in a completely different service or skill, right? So, because, yun nga, yung sabi ko, kapag kasi they're, if they're few in number, mas mahirap talaga silang hanapin. I have that one experience with a mentee during our meetup na sinabi niya, gusto niya maging video editor for a very specific client avatar. Nakalimutan ko na kung ano yun. February ba kasi yun yung nag, nag-usap kami. <laughs> so, hindi ko na siya maano. So, sabi ko, napaka-specific niya. And I told her to, you know, from the umbrella of that specific market, ano yung next level niya? Ano yung parang, what, what group does that specific group of people belong to? Kasi that would mean na magta-times two or magta-times three yung kanilang size of that market. So, yun siya. Um, also, James, if you're worried about competition, don't be. Uh, when it comes to competition kasi, what we're always worried about is the reason why we don't have clients is because of other people. Okay? So, ganun yung medyo, ano natin, medyo perspective natin when we're freelancing or when we're trying to market ourselves is that the reason why I'm not having clients is because there are so many other people that are marketing themselves in the same service that I have that I have that I'm in or in the same target market that I'm in and my argument is that what are you doing compared to that person and as to why that person is getting more clients than you diba so it's good to have competition in a sense that you can also study what they're doing in their marketing right and then try improving that try improving that and then improving that and so competitions are actually good because meron kang <laughs> Meron kang uh, makikitang, oh, ito pala yung mali niyang ginagawa. Okay, so hindi ko yan gagawin, right? So, success leaves clues. Ganun siya. If that specific freelancer is getting a lot of success in that very niche, it's bad if you 100% copy them, but you can serve that specific ICA in a completely different skill. That's fine, right? And then you start doing your own uh, necessary work in marketing. So, ganun siya. Ayan, guys and friends. <laughs> so, ang ating gagawin po ay mag end na po tayo dito dahil 2 hours na po tayo. Kakain muna ako. <laughs> and then, I will also rest for a bit because tomorrow is another day at kahit December 15 bukas. Uy, guys! Pa-share lang ha! Hindi naman ako, hindi, hindi naman ako naghahanap ng gift pero... My gosh, tatanda na ako in tatanda na ako in 6 days. <laughs> Grabe, ang bilis ng panahon. Wala akong time mag-isip ng birthday ko, promise. So, mag-birthday ako next week. Wala akong plano. So, ang gagawin ko nito is um, I will just see what my friends are up to. My friends uh, told me to 
mag-dinner daw kami sa labas, tapos uuwi kami dito sa bahay, tapos magpapajama party daw kami. So, okay, okay. Ako pala yung may idea ng pajama party kasi ayokong lumabas. <laughs> ayokong lumabas talaga. So, ganun. Tapos may, may family din, meron din silang plans of dinner. Kain ng kain lang talaga tayo pag birthday, no? <laughs> kain ng kain talaga. Filipino tradition, kain ng kain kapag birthday. Ano ba? Ganun na naman talagang buhay. So, ganun lang. Parang, parang medyo worried ako na wala akong plano. <laughs> medyo worried. Kasi di ba pag sabi nila, sabi nila kapag 25 years old ka na daw, kailangan bongga yung birthday mo. E, wala naman akong paki. <laughs> Kips lang, okay. Kung magto 25 ako, carry lang. Ang importante sa akin, meron akong magandang camera. <laughs> ganun lang yun. <laughs> so, Simple lang naman ang gusto ko sa buhay. Gusto ko lang ng mga, mga magandang video equipment. Kaya, ano, grabbing investment sa video equipment. <laughs> Aside from that, I'm okay. <laughs> o, sige na. Dal, dal. Okay, so, uh, sa mga, sa mga, ano, mga hindi naman nakaabot ng entire session, I will be posting this in the Facebook page naman. You can watch the replay. I think it was very valuable, no? And then, who knows? We might be repeating this one-on-one coaching live next time, diba? Let's see, in 2021. Papahinguhin nyo yung muna ako pag, ano, December. <laughs> Tapos, try natin, baka ulitin natin siya ulit on January. Tapos, also, if you're on, ano, if you're if you have YouTube accounts, guys, pasubscribe naman ako. <laughs> Please. Please po, pasubscribe po ako sa YouTube. Kasi gusto kong, ano, gusto kong meron ako yung parang, ano, ang tawag niya, yung parang YouTube button, yung parang frame. Ay, gusto ko nun. <laughs> Pahingi naman ako, guys. Pa, pasubscribe naman. Pa, Pahingi ng konting oras sa inyo. Pasubscribe ako sa YouTube po. Thank you. Pasearch na lang po ako ng Demi Bernista. Subscribe na lang po kayo. Kahit hindi na kayo manood ng videos, okay lang. Gusto ko lang talaga yung YouTube play button. Ay! Uh, one, of the, one of my goals in 2021. Saan na naman umabot, diba? <laughs> Yun lang yung mga, mga goals. <laughs> Hashtag goals. Okay, sige na. Daldal ko. Okay, sige. Uh, thank you so much for watching the entire two hour. If you're here, if you're still here, guys. Thank you so much. And then, ulitin natin to siguro mga January. So, we'll see about that. Thank you so much. And I hope you learned a lot. Please apply the things that you learned here para hindi masayang yung ating effort dito kada dalawang oras tayo dito talak mang talak. <laughs> Hopefully lang talaga ina-apply nyo. Ayan na. So, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.